ThyssenKrupp in Danville, Illinois is part of the ThyssenKrupp Automotive Group recognized worldwide as a leading supplier to the automotive industry. ThyssenKrupp produces camshafts and engine components, which are found in numerous new model vehicles manufactured throughout the world. Our camshafts are working in more than 50 million vehicles worldwide. Today, you are here to visit or have been contracted to provide a service for the company. For your safety, we have developed guidelines, which everyone who enters our facility must follow. This presentation will inform you of our basic safety requirements and procedures. Your visit to our facility will begin here at the guardhouse, where you will be required to sign in upon entering the facility, as well as sign out upon leaving. If you are a contractor, it is vital that you sign in and out each day you are working at the plant. You will also be issued an identification badge that must be worn while in our facilities. A door scan card will be issued if needed to allow you access to your designated area. In order to receive a door scan card, we ask that you leave your driver's license with the guard. Taking photos and video is strictly prohibited while in our facility and may only be done with management approval. Everyone entering the manufacturing area must wear safety equipment, such as hearing protection, safety glasses, and safety shoes. You are required to wear this protective equipment at all times while in our manufacturing areas. If you're here to work, suitable clothes are also required, which include safety shoes and long pants. Consult a plant safety representative or your project contact person if you are unsure of the requirements. One of the first things that you will encounter when entering our shop is mobile equipment traffic. Fork truck traffic can be present everywhere. While our drivers will make efforts to watch out for you, you must also do your part by avoiding these traffic areas and remain at designated pedestrian walkways where provided, or on the side of an aisle whenever possible. The simple rules of traffic are, always be aware of what is moving around you. Stop at corners. Check for traffic before proceeding across an aisle. Stay in main aisles. Do not cut through production or work areas or equipment and stored materials. And always make eye contact with our drivers before proceeding across an aisle. For the safety of our employees, contractors, and visitors, it is prohibited to bring any chemical products on site without prior approval. While in our shop, if you observe any safety issues or concerns, you should notify your plant contact person or any member of management so they can be addressed promptly and appropriately. In the event of an accident, such as a fire, chemical spill, or medical emergency, you can notify any ThyssenKrupp associate and they will know how to initiate the proper response. All injuries, either considered an emergency or not, must be reported to your host, project contact, or to the plant safety representative. Any near misses or property damage should also be reported. In the event of a fire, you can also pull any of the fire alarm pull boxes where available. Upon hearing the fire alarm, you are to leave the building immediately. After exiting the building, report immediately to the evacuation collection point for that building. Wait until you are instructed before re-entering the building. In case of inclement weather, a seek shelter notification will go out over the PA system. When you hear the seek shelter notification, proceed immediately to a designated severe weather shelter. The shelters are identified by signage. If you need help finding one of these shelters, ask any nearby ThyssenKrupp associate. Responsible management of environmental issues is an integral part of our business philosophy. In this facility, we have implemented specific environmental protection measures as a matter of policy. If your visit today here involves any interaction with environmental practices or you have any questions involving our environmental program, please ask your host, plant contact, or the plant environmental representative. If there is anything about what you have seen or heard that you are unsure of, please contact your plant contact person for the visit or the plant safety representative for any additional information. Thank you and enjoy your visit. If you are a contractor, please continue watching. As a contractor, there are additional safety concerns that must be considered. The specific tasks required to perform a service that your company has been contracted for should be reviewed in a pre-job meeting with your project contact person and or the safety coordinator prior to the start of work. Some will require special training by your employer. They include, but are not limited to, the use of chemicals, entry to restricted areas and confined spaces, energy control and power lockout, use of personal fall protection, and hot work, such as welding, burning, and grinding. Your employer is responsible to provide the necessary level of training as required by regulation and to their established safe work practices. If you are unsure of what jobs or areas require specific training, or whether or not your employer has provided you with the necessary training, equipment, or procedures, contact the plant safety department in your employer's project contact before the start of work. Contractors must supply a current MSDS for all chemical products to be brought on site. All chemicals must be in approved containers and properly labeled with contents and associated hazards. 
Do not pour any chemicals down the drain and do not remove any unused materials, empty containers, or hazardous waste from the property, unless it is approved by the plant's environmental coordinator. No material or chemical products can be stored outside where they may be exposed to rainfall without prior review and approval. Your work may require that you go beyond the general working areas in the plant, such as into restricted areas, confined spaces, or inside production lines. Entrance to these areas may also require special skills and authorization by the plant. There are signs identifying confined spaces around the plant. They are designated as such because they have the potential to contain hazardous atmospheres. Under no circumstances are you to enter these areas without first consulting a safety coordinator and your project contact person. A permit is required and all aspects of the entry must be reviewed and approved in a pre-entry meeting. If your work requires the powering down of our equipment, you must have specific permission from your project contact person. Only properly trained and authorized personnel are allowed to open electrical boxes or otherwise work on electrical equipment. If the work is maintenance or service of equipment, compliance with our energy control and power lockout procedures is required. Information about your company's lockout procedures must also be provided. Again, this will require specialized training from your employer and require review and permission of the plant's maintenance department. You will need a hot work permit to perform any welding, burning, or grinding on company property. You cannot transfer your permit from one work area to another and permits must be obtained daily. Be sure when doing hot work that the area is made safe prior to the start of work and that all written elements of the plant's hot work permit have been considered and checked off. Final written permission to perform hot work must be given by a company representative who has been designated to authorize such work. Please remember that at ThyssenKrupp, we take safety and the protection of the environment very seriously and require that you do the same. You are required to follow all instructions as outlined in this presentation. This concludes our safety overview for contractors. If you have any questions about our safety concerns or requirements, please do not hesitate to ask your project contact person or the safety representative for all plants. Thank you for joining our commitment to health and safety and the environment.